Hey guys, this is Ryan the Geeky V. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Power Query. Last time I showed you how to connect to uh, particular files, Excel files, and how to merge and append. This time I'm going to show you how to connect to folders rather than the file directly. And by doing that, you're going to see how you'll be able to automate your reports. So that's our goal today, how to connect to folders and how to automate your reports. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So over here on the left, we have uh, a folder. We have connect to this folder. This is just really here for me, so I know where I'm connecting. And within it, we have a loan file. It's February. Outside of it, we have April and March. So we're gonna connect to the folder, and we wanna grab everything that's within that folder. So right now, there's just one file in there. Let's go ahead and move over here to the right, to Power Query. Last time, I went directly to the file from Excel. We could do from CSV file, which is what these are right now. But this time, we're going to go from a folder. We'll choose the path, browse. OK, that's the folder we want to connect to. Pretty obvious, connect to this folder. Click OK. Okay, so this information does not pull in exactly like it would if you connected directly to a specific file. So we'll click Edit. Let me expand this so you can see everything that's coming in. Now there's a lot of information here. Um, here's the title and the file extension, and so forth. But what we really want is what's inside of that file. So you're going to be looking for these two double down arrows here. You click on this, boom, and you see it automatically pulls in the information you want. This is exactly what we wanted. Let's collapse this over to the right side here. OK, so if we like what we see here, we're going to go ahead and hit Close and Load. Okay, so here's the resulting table from our Power Query. It's got all February information and loan balances. Great. But now, how can we automate this? What happens if we move, let's go over to the left here, if we move both April and March into this folder? So let's grab these and just simply click and drag. Let's go back over to the right. So what we want to do is we could click refresh. There's many places you could do that. But what we want to do is go ahead and come over to the workbook query. We're going to right click it and click refresh here. Notice it went from six rows to 20 rows. There's two errors. Why? Well, because the other two have um, the same table headers. So uh, we can fix that pretty quick. We're going to actually go back in and edit. And we're going to say we don't want any errors. Now this is getting into one of the first functions I'm going to show you in Power Query Editor. We're going to go to Remove error Rows and Remove the Errors. There. So the great thing about this, even though I had to do it this time, we won't have to do it again because every new report that it pulls in there goes through that process of removing the errors. Let's look over here to the right. Here are the query settings, the property, and the applied steps. We connected here. We clicked on that binaries drop down. It imported it. It promoted the headers automatically. It's pretty smart. It knows that date, member number, and loan balances are headers. It changed the type. Sometimes it does that automatically too. We didn't create that step, but this is the step we created, remove errors. Now every time this Power Query goes through its process, it will apply this step. So those blank, those errors will be removed automatically for you. All right, so let's go back. Let's hit close and load. There. So. Implications here are if you want to automate some of your reporting, it's just as simple as 
dragging the newest report into a folder that's connected and just refreshing your data. Hopefully you found this video of value. We'll see you at the next time.